watches with the Seagull ST19 mechanical chronograph movement tend to fall into dressier watches. Hydus is looking to change that with their newest release, the Chronograph V2 ST19. Known more for their dive and tool watches, Hydus is one of the older micro brands out there, and they know how to put together a solid watch. While this isn't their first chronograph, it is their first mechanical chronograph. Their previous release was a quartz chronograph. The Chronograph V2 comes in at 42 millimeters wide, 14 millimeters thick, with a 48.5 millimeter lug to lug. These dimensions fall into classic chronograph dimensions, and the watch wears well on the wrist. The lugs have a sharp turndown that remains elegant enough to give the case some shape without compromising wearability. The 14 millimeter thickness jumped out at me as being a touch thick, but I didn't find that it stuck out too much on my six and three quarter inch wrist. The lug tips fall just below the case back, so the thickness is mitigated. If you're comfortable wearing a Seiko SKX, you'll be right at home with the Chronograph V2. The Seagull ST19 beating away inside the Chronograph V2 is certainly a looker. While it isn't finished as nicely as more expensive chronograph movements, it holds its own. The movement is easy to operate, reliable, and offers mechanical snappiness lacking in quartz movements. The pushers have a slightly spongy feel to them before the chronograph is started, but once it clicks, the mechanical feedback is far better than that of a quartz chronograph. Likewise, resetting the chronograph is snappy. If you're unfamiliar with the Seagull ST19, you may have noticed the lack of a rotor. This is a manual wind chronograph with a power reserve of about 40 hours. During my time with the Chronograph V2, I had no issues with the movement whatsoever. I've reviewed a few watches with this movement and have always walked away happy with its performance. A phenomenon I've noticed with Seagull ST19 movements is that they seem to find their way into dressier watches that feel fragile. This is something I haven't noticed with other movements, and as I said in the beginning, I'm happy to see Hydus drop this movement into a watch month war weight to it. Watches that use the Seagull ST19 often tend to share a lot when it comes to their overall case and dial design. The Chronograph V2 isn't heavy per se, but it has a satisfying weight. I remember when I was picking out wedding bands with my wife, I noticed how much more satisfying white gold felt compared to silver. This is the exact feeling I got when holding the Hydus next to some other watches with the same movement, like the Gakoda W02. It's a watch that feels good and delivers the kind of wrist presence many brands strive for, yet often fall short of. I didn't notice how complex the dial of the Chronograph V2 was until after wearing it for a few days and constantly reading the time. The Chronograph V2 has two sub-dials, thus creating a symmetrical dial. The two sub-dials show running seconds on the left and a minute totalizer on the right. Hydus chose silver sub-dials with concentric rings and a maroon outline for each. The sub-dial on the right has alternating maroon and silver accents. This is a simple touch, but it helps it quickly differentiate between the two sub-dials. The Hydus Chronograph V2 feels more like a diver chronograph, and although that may not have been Hydus' intention, it speaks to how solid it feels. I find a lot of the times with 42mm microbrand watches, I often say how it might fit better or be more comfortable if it were just a few millimeters smaller. That isn't the case with the Hydus Chronograph V2. It's just right, exactly as it is. Thanks for checking out the video review, and for the full written review, head over to watchclicker.com. Thank you.